Hey everyone, Nor from AP Shield here. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to wrap a simple mirror on a C63S AMG. Uh, design of this mirror is pretty straightforward. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give this mirror a 3. Pretty straightforward, like I said, to wrap. I'll show you a couple tricks, and then in later videos, I'll show you how to wrap more complex side view mirrors. All right, guys. So now that I got the cutout ready for the mirror, again, I use the Expel DAP software to cut out the template. What we're going to do is apply it. Obviously, the mirror's already been washed. It's been prepped. Uh, all waxes or any manufacturing um, silicones have been removed, and we're ready to wrap the mirror. What we're going to do is take our slip solution, spray the mirror down a little bit, we're gonna make sure there's no dust on it. This over here is our tax solution. What I like doing is spraying a little bit of tax solution on there too. It dilutes the soap a little bit, so it gives it a little bit less slip, and it'll allow it to, sorry, give me one second. It'll allow it to tack on a lot better. So I've peeled off the mirror. I'm gonna spray the backing, the sticky side. And now we're going to apply the template onto the mirror. Again, like I said, this mirror is going to have characteristics that a good 80, yeah, 70 to 80 percent of mirrors out there will have, and you're going to be following the same technique. What we're going to do is I sprayed a little bit of the slip solution on the outside. That way the squeegee glides a little bit better. We're going to start off by lining up the template and we're going to make sure that the angle of the bottom strip is going to be nice and straight so you can see and the same up here i'm going to see how that angles coming along looks pretty good to me so i'm going to lock in this little corner of the side view mirror immediately go. Now, once I'm happy with how the anchor point is, and again, the anchor point is the area that we tack down over here, that allows it to anchor, and when we pull and lift and stretch, it's going to be stuck down nicely, and that'd be original area. All I'm going to do is take the film and position it. As you can tell, uh, it's short by maybe about a quarter of an inch, half an inch over here. I'm not going to, what I'm not going to do is take it and push it uh, or pull it from here. Instead, I'm going to put my finger right around here and use these fingers to stretch the film into place. And as you can tell, now the fitment's pretty much perfect. All those fingers that we had along here, because we pushed it into place, it's going to pull. The tension itself almost wraps around. This area over here has no stretch on it, so it'll never have an, uh, I guess, opportunity to lift up. I wouldn't want to say opportunity, but it'll never lift up. That's what we don't want. If you overstretch some areas, there are, or there, I should say, there is going to be a chance of it lifting during high heat or uh, even other circumstances. Like let's say if a pressure washer gets a little bit too close to it, that might be enough reason for the film to lift up in that area. Now, I'm going to have a look on and see how this mirror is lining up. As you can tell, it's starting to take shape. What we want to do now is get rid of this finger over here without affecting the way that this is lining up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my hand right here and give it a slight pull upwards. I'm going to see how this is lining up. Pretty happy with that now. As you can tell, the film right now is butting up almost to the edge. Again, the way that the Expel makes the kit templates is it's not going to go exactly to the edge. It'll give it about an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch gap all around the edges. So and that's why you're, and what you're seeing is it's not going to have a full coverage, 100%. It gives it about a good 99% coverage, which is good enough for, let's say, 
uh, you know, any big chunks or the majority of the mirror itself is going to be protected. If you want to have 100% perfect coverage, what we're going to have to do is hand cut it. I'd recommend taking off the actual carbon piece, putting it on the bench, hand cutting that way. That way we can wrap all the way inside all the edges. Again, this video I'm showing you how to install a template. So now this is out of the way. These little fingers keep on popping up. So what I'm going to do is spray a little bit of tack underneath that. And now I'm going to spray a little bit of tack along here so we can finish off the mirror. Again, we're going to look, see how we want to position it. Give me one second. I'll grab a little a towel right now. So one of the tricks to mirrors is right now the surface is too wet. Obviously, it's a good thing underneath, but on, uh, on top it's too wet and it doesn't give me an opportunity or uh, uh, it doesn't allow me to stretch the film properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry my hands off and dry the top end of the mirror off. Now what it does is I have, you can tell, a lot better grip on the top side of the film, which allows me to pull and push the film into place. So again, I can tell that I'm off by a little bit here. I'm gonna lift it up, spray a little bit of soap underneath, tack solution. And I'm just using the palm of my hand to stretch the film into place. Now, again, I'm not too happy with the bottom over here, again, with the PPF installs, it's patience. The more you do it, the quicker you'll get. What you don't want to have is lift marks or pull marks. So again, the quicker you do the install in a way, uh, less likelihood of pull marks and stretch marks of occurring. Uh, you're going to see that on the end result. Now, looking at it, pretty happy with this. Take the squeegee, squeegee everything out. Around all these finger areas. Spray a little bit of tack solution. The tack solution, what it does is it rinses out a lot of the soap. It helps activate the glue a little bit better. And allows for almost an immediate bite down. Again, there's a little finger in there that I didn't like. There we go. I'll take the microfiber, dry off the top side of it. Now what I'll do is I'll grab a shop towel. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So with the shop towel, what I'll do is I'll take the squeegee, fold it in half. This allows any moisture under the film around the edges to get absorbed by the shop towel. Hold it there for a few seconds and that'll seal down the edge. And there we have it. The driver's side mirror is all protected. What I normally do is I dry off the edges with a towel. 
I'll let the mirror sit for about 10-15 minutes. I'll come back to it. At least that way I know that any of the edges I go over the towel with, they've already been, the towel itself absorbs all moisture. After the 10-15 minutes, it air dries. And then once I go over it once again with the towel, it tacks down 100% and it's going to be good to let go back to the customer. Hit the subscribe button down below. I'll be posting a lot more tutorials on how to wrap your car like a pro. Thank you.